you guys can just you know, slam the slam the spikes into my hands whenever you want. Of course, I'm not a nun, so I guess you know whatever. Oh God. Oh God. Hello there, Criterion Eight here. Oh dear Lord. I ain't got much to say about this one because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Number 402, Luis Buñuel's The Milky Way. La Voix Lacti. La Voix Lacti. I don't know Lacti. It's like lactate. Lactate milk. It makes sense. 1969, 101 minutes, color, menorah, French. Um. Anyway, so, to be honest, to be actually fair and honest with you, if there is such a thing as the best Buñuel movie, this may be it. Um, while it's not, it's not good, it sucks, it's stupid, it's confusing as fuck, but it's not, it's not Phantom of Liberty bad. It's not Phantom of Liberty bad, it's not Viridiana bad, it's not, um... It's not the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie bad. It actually has some interesting, thought-provoking ideas about religion. And, you know, it's kind of a bit of a discussion starter compared to the other movies. The other movies are just, just a bunch of random images that make absolutely no fucking sense whatsoever. This, on the other hand, you know, I think it's because he tackles one topic, and it, for the most part. He tackles one topic, religion. Um, you know, like heresy and all that, and, and a lot of just different, you know, again, religious, religious topics and all that, topics on religion. So, because of that, it's not a big steaming pile of shit. It's still stupid and not very funny, if it's supposed to be funny. Um, apparently it's supposed to be funny. Criterion claims it's supposed to be hilarious. Like, yeah, well... You know, that's the same people who, you, know, you also put, you know, something like, you know, anyway. Um, so, basically, I don't have much to say. It's, again, it's just a bunch of random images, mostly, um, all centered around these two, these two bums who are, like, traveling this path. Um, I forget the name of it. Does it say what it says? Um, the path, which is, I guess, nicknamed called the Milky Way. They're going to Santiago de Compostela, um, and so they're trying to... So anyway, they're going, and they run into all these people, including this guy who tells them that they should have sex with a prostitute and name them weird shit. And they go into this inn, and they, you know, run into this, this priest who, like, discusses the whole body of Christ thing and gets taken to a mental clinic. And these, these little girls who, you know, keep calling out sinners and all that, and these crucified nuns and... And some fake Jesus-looking dude going around clean, clean, um, healing blind people and all that. I don't know. I, I have no clue. Yeah, again, you've got that you know, iconic Buñuel imagery that you either love or hate. You know what side I'm on. But at the same time, yes, you've got you've got a theme. You've got a you've actually got a theme in this movie. You're not kind of scratching your head. I guess the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie was supposed to be attack on maybe the upper class. Um, Phantom of Liberty, though, I have no clue. Yeah, Phantom of Liberty, again, I said it before, I said it again, it was basically, he watched one episode of Monty Python and said, I can do that. And he obviously couldn't. So there. Um, and again, I don't know what the fuck's going on with Viridiana or Diary of a Chambermaid. You know, I thought Diary of a Chambermaid was the best. Um, it was Moreau actually pulled off a decent role in that one, but um, but yeah, there's too much shit, there's too much weird shit in uh, Diary of a Chambermaid that isn't necessarily in the Milky Way. Milky Way, there's some weird weird shit in it, um, but again, not nowhere near as bad as uh, as the other movies. So so anyway, I I don't have much else to say. Again, I. I'm not a very religious person myself, so a lot of the topics kind of went over my head, and you know, also there's a lot of you know, and, and a lot of the views are from a take a very Catholic point of view. Um, I don't know a lot about Catholic 
Catholicism, so I'm going just from what I know about this. Maybe if I understood it a little more, then I could give this movie a better chance. But the fact that Bunyell directed it was enough for me to say, you know, don't take take this with you know, don't take this with a grain of salt, you know, because or take it with a grain of salt, or just or just take the pepper because this makes sneeze all over this. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's I don't have much I don't have anything else to say about this. Uh, it's Bunyell. It's not bad Bunyell. It's not horrible Bunyell, but it's Bunyell. So um, that being said, you know, it, I was gonna say oh, it doesn't get it doesn't get enough. It's not bad. If I had to watch this one again, I, 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 if I had to watch this again, I would consider it. I would definitely consider it. Um, and then I think, but at the same time, there wasn't really anything that really just said, you know. There is some interesting imagery, some interesting things, some moments that almost made me laugh. So I'm giving this one a passing grade, just, but just barely, because it's Bunyan. Just barely passing. C minus. This gets a C minus. Probably, I think that's probably the best rated. I really need to find out how much I rated Diary of Chamber Man. I think I gave that a D. Um, but Milky Way wasn't too bad. I mean, it was it was bad, but it was the the best kind of bad. If that makes any sense. So pass. Barely though. Barely. 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 Uh, supplements. Uh, interview with Jean Claude Jean Claude Carrier, who uh, co-wrote the co-wrote the script with Bunyell. Um, there's a half-hour interview with Ian Christie, who's a film scholar, who talks about mostly about the religious stuff and all that. Uh, there's a 32-minute documentary called uh, Luis Bunyell: Atheist Thanks to God. There's a bunch of people talking about Bunyell and his religious views, and the trailer, and it's, it's a stupid trailer about. Is it, is it shocking? Yes and no. Is it suspenseful? Yes and no. Is it humorous? Yes and no. Pick your damn, pick a damn side. Anyway. Milky Way, C minus, whatever. If you have to watch Bunyell, go with this one. Don't pick any of the other ones, seriously. Of course, we're not done with Bunyell. We know. we still got Exterminating Angel. we still got, some, how many more goddamn Bunyell? I'm going to just look that up. I know this season we've got Simon of the Desert and um, an Exterminating Angel, but I want to see if what else, what other damn movies do we have by him? Let's see what, what was Diary of a Chamber? No, Diary of a Chamber Wave wasn't the first one. Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, yeah, was first. Then Diary of a Chamber Maid. Oh God, I forgot. Yeah, that obscure object of desire. That might be his worst. That well, that and that's tied with the Phantom Liberty. I don't know. I was like, there's one really shitty one that I'm forgetting about. And that that one, Verdiana sucks. Milky Way was alright. Yeah, Exterminating Angel, Simon the Desert, back to back. Bunyell. we've got a while. We've got a ways to go for that. So thank God. Um, Belle du Jour, and that's the last one. Good. Okay, Belle du Jour. And that won't be till next year. So, Whew. all right. So anyway, uh, that's it for me today. Um, again. It's like, how, how do we go from such a great movie like Night on Earth to this, blech, to this Milk and Bunyell? Oh, doing this in order is just such a, such a weird, weird experience. But anyway, it's, it's, it's interesting. So anyway, tomorrow, hopefully we got some good stuff with Carlos Suara, Sora Sara, Cuya Cuervos. Hopefully this will be a, a good movie, I, I hope. I mean, I, you know, I have nothing... Really to go on this. Um, don't know a lot about Carlos Sara. Um, we've got this, and then we've also got the uh, the Flamenco trilogy, um, which needs to get its butt here. Um, again, I'm thinking I just put I put a hold on a lot of the movies. They're on their way. They may be here by Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, what I'm thinking is there may be a break. Um, Martha Graham dance on film was not shipped as quickly as I thought it would. So I put a hold on another copy and I'm thinking that maybe it will, I'm hoping that I may end up having to go out of order just for a little bit, just cause I want to keep these, get these movies out of the way because Breathless is on its way. Malamoche is on its way. 
uh, I think under the vol under the volcanoes on its way, and then the other one I can't remember. But anyway, but yeah, you know, Korea Corvals tomorrow. Um, Robert Crusoe, Robinson Crusoe on Mars on Monday, uh, Three Penny Opera on Tuesday, and from there and there forth, we shall see what's next. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't crucify nuns. Um, don't have sex with prostitutes and name them weird things like uh, "all be all be to God" or something like that. Don't 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 give your kids weird names like that. You know, I'm looking at you, Kanye. I'm looking at you, Yonce. I'm looking at you, uh, Dance. There's a there's some celebrity named Dance. I'm sure there's out there. His name and his kid weird stuff. Anyway. Uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for Kriak Relbos. And until then, goodbye.